Hello, everyone. I'm Guido Zambarda. I'm a Microsoft Certified Senior Software Developer at PSCS.com, and welcome to my demo, Discover the PMP Dashboard Control. These are my social handles. Feel free to contact me or follow my blog for more insights about the SharePoint framework. So, starting with uh, what even are the PMP reusable React controls? As Alex said before about this, uh, it's an open source project and it's a, an, um, a set of reusable React controls. I counted more than 50, so probably what you want to use, uh, it's already there, so take a look. And uh, it's made for SharePoint framework solutions. It's very easy and easy, easy and uh, to use and install. <clears throat> it's maintained by the community, and I'm a proud contributor of. So, uh, setting the context of uh, my demo, uh, I have a SharePoint uh, framework solution, and I want to show multiple components in a single page, as uh, the name suggests, and um, maybe a dashboard. And I want to use the PMP React controls. To use those, uh, I have to install uh, with the npm script and uh, go to the demo. So, um, searching for the right screen. Okay. Just a second. Sorry, but my uh, tab is not working. Okay. Here I am. This is my demo environment, and this is my um, sample solution web part where uh, I created a PMP dashboard control, and uh, I want to show you, uh, first of all, how it renders. So we have uh, multiple uh, controls here, <clears throat> and uh, uh, arranged uh, as I want. So uh, each of these uh, components uh, is a widget, and uh, with, uh, with uh, each widget, you can uh, have uh, multiple tabs, as uh, in the first widget you can see here. And uh, um, as I said, each uh, widget can contain uh, um, various components. Here, I uh, just, uh, just put some sample content, uh, but uh, because I'm a developer, I choose the metrics uh, actor, actors, so uh, just because I like it. And um, proceeding, we have uh, some other sample content and uh, uh, some possible link. The links down here, uh, I will show you later in the code how to do that, uh, but it's a property, and uh, with that you can customize uh, where the uh, widget can redirect the user. Also, in uh, this, in this um, instance of the dashboard, I've uh, enabled uh, the ability for the user to hide a certain widget. In fact, uh, as you can see, up in the right upper uh, part of, the, of each widget, uh, you have the three dots. And if you click those, uh, you can get uh, an hide widget uh, uh, context uh, menu. And if you click that, uh, I just intercepted uh, the event uh, just to let you know that you can do something just before hiding the widget. And then if you click OK, the widget gets uh, uh, hide. And, uh, uh, the other widgets will take the place uh, instead of leaving uh, an empty space. Also, um, in uh, the three dots, uh, there's a menu that can be customized. In fact, uh, in the second widget, I've added uh, two uh, items, and uh, those are just for uh, showing you the, the ability to do that. In fact, there's only an alert when I click those, but you can put everything you want. And uh, Okay, this is the UI part. So switching to the code. This is my um, simple solution, and it's uh, running uh, on uh, SharePoint Framework 1.18.2. And uh, I have uh, nothing in particular in the uh, sample web part uh, component, but I have uh, everything uh, I just showed you in the um, PMP dashboard sample component. And to use the dashboard, first of all, you have to uh, import it. So I imported the dashboard control and also the widget size, and I will show you in a bit why, and also the iWidget interface, uh, just uh, also this for uh, a, couple the, a couple of um, uh, alert uh, strings. So in the render method of my component, I have the dashboard control, 
where with the widgets property you have uh, to uh, you can manage to uh, define what are the widgets that you want to show in your dashboard and uh, aside of that you can uh, also uh, as i said before allow the user to hide certain widget and uh, by default uh, is uh, false so if you want to allow the user to do that you have to manually specify it and uh, also here is the uh, property that allows you to in intercept uh, the hiding uh, um, uh, action that the user started. So how does the widget uh, uh, work? So um, to define the widget, you have, uh, uh, I put them uh, in a um, separate method just for the sake of uh, having all, in, all divided and separated. And I have uh, the first widget uh, here that uh, I created uh, just to let uh, you know how to create uh, the various tab that you have just uh, um, seen here. So this is the first widget and those are the tabs. And to achieve those tabs, uh, you simply have to define in the body an array of objects and uh, each object contains an ID to identify uh, the, um, the tab, a title displayed to the user and a content that in this case is just a uh, text, uh, but uh, you can have uh, everything you want here. And also, um, as I said before, I imported the widget size uh, uh, enumerator because uh, I can define the size of each widget uh, by um, setting the size property. And uh, there are uh, um, many possibilities in this, uh, and I will show you just now, because uh, the second widget, for example, is uh, a double size widget. And uh, this one is uh, um, the widget with uh, the here with the context menu and the custom actions. To have the custom actions, uh, you have to uh, define uh, here an array, and uh, each custom action that you want to define is an object. And uh, in those objects, you have all the usual ID title. And also you can specify a custom icon and then uh, the on-click event uh, that you want to um, intercept when the user clicks. Also proceeding with the ones. Okay, the third widget is a, a simple content uh, just to show you the, a minimal, let's say a minimal uh, widget with a single size. So it's uh, just uh, one column for one row. And then uh, here you can define uh, the link uh, in the bottom part uh, of the widget. To define the link, uh, it's just uh, an object with uh, an href uh, property. And then uh, there you can put uh, whatever you want uh, to redirect the user to. And then uh, another uh, widget size that I think it's uh, pretty nice, it's the box type and uh, box size. And uh, this size, uh, it's uh, two rows for by two uh, columns. And it's, uh, for the sake of knowing it, uh, the fourth widget here. So you can see how much space it takes. And then uh, the other widgets are just simple single widgets uh, uh, with a sample content. So it's um, like the third widget I show you before. So with that, um, to wrap up, the, the dashboard control is a very um, useful control. It's ready to go and it's very simple to use. It's also customizable. And uh, if you see some lack of functionality, you can do it, uh, you can add it because uh, it's a community and it's uh, an open source. So feel free to add uh, whatever you need. And uh, here are some reference. So the first one is my sample, if you want to check this out. And the second one is the PMP reusable React Controls uh, GitHub repo. And uh, finally, there's also a PMP reusable property pane controls, which is uh, pretty useful and um, allows you to have uh, more ready to go controls uh, to put in the web part uh, uh, control pane. So 
Thank you. This is all. And back to you, Gary. Thank you.